Yes, I'm listening to two things at once. <laughs> I'm weird like that. Let me turn those down. So I wanted to shoot a real quick video, uh, just an addendum to the video that I put out recently about emergency frequencies. I've had a lot of people ask me about how to find local police, fire, EMS frequencies and things like that. It's not always super easy to do, at least you wouldn't think it was off, right off the bat. Um, you're going to see that it's not as hard as you think it is. The trick is a lot of them are going to be uh, digital. So you're going to need a scanner or the appropriate radio, radio to be able to listen to them. So what I want to do is I'm going to hop over here to the computer. And we're going to talk about the website where you're going to find all those frequencies. So I will be back in just a minute. And we're back. So uh, what you were just listening to was actually two different things, right? I, I had uh, a, a CW or Morse code station, Jim Vaughn, WB0RLJ, who was doing a Parks on the Air activation on CW or Morse code. Uh, and then on my other radio, you were hearing the the Southern Tier Amateur, Southern Tier Amateur Radio Net or the StarNet. That is the ARRL traffic system net. Uh, that meets every night at 6.30 p.m. <clears throat> I started recording at 6.30 on the dot. Uh, so what you were hearing was the beginning of that net. That net is used, like I said in the previous video, so that even if, you know, phone or internet and all those things go down, there's still a way of passing traffic or communications into and out of this particular area, the southern tier of New York. <clears throat> so that's what you were listening to. Now, uh, what you're looking at is radioreference.com. So in order to find all of your local fire, EMS, police frequencies and so on, you're gonna to navigate to radioreference.com. And then once you're here, uh, there is a paid version of this. I don't have the paid version. You can get to most of what you need without having to pay for the subscription. Uh, there are some nice things like uh, if you have the subscription, you can download radio databases directly from the website into programming software and things like that, but it's not necessary. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to databases and I'm going to click this top one that says RR database. Uh, we can either browse, we can click near me and we can use the GPS and our device to find where we are, or you can search by city name, system, so on and so forth. I'm just going to go ahead and click browse. So it brings up a map of the United States. <clears throat> so I'm in New York. So I'm going to go ahead and click New York and it's going to bring up a list of counties. So you can see how here's all our different counties. I am in Broome County right here. So if I click Broome County, this will come up with a list of all of the different Broome County frequencies. So on top, you will see links to the Broome County trunk system. So all of our police, fire, EMS, ambulance, all that stuff is on a, what's called a trunk system. So it's all digital and it is all interoperable. Uh, the Broome County amateur radio repeaters. Now this is not up to date. Uh, different Broome County frequencies, the municipalities, local fire and EMS, schools and universities, the local airports, and then any utilities. All right, so if I scroll down, you'll see the first thing it says is, is law enforcement. It says uh, all of my law, law enforcement here is on the Central New York Interoperable Consor uh, Communications Consortium. So all of the local police, fire, EMS are all on this consortium. So it shows you our different frequencies, the license that holds that frequency what type of radio it is, the tones for those particular uh, applications, who it belongs to, uh, and then it gives you the description. Over here, you'll see it says mode P25. Uh, P25 or Project 25 is a Motorola uh, digital encoding process. Um, most of your commercial and municipal and uh, public safety agencies are gonna run uh, project 25 for their radio systems. Some systems are still on the old analog stuff, but most stuff is going to be on these digital systems. If I scroll down, you'll see here's our fire and EMS again, operates on the same system. Okay. Uh, the office of emergency management again on the same system. And again, you can see here's all the frequencies that they operate on. Uh, here's your interoperability frequencies. And then all our different services. <clears throat> so the golf courses, the airports, things like that. 
Down here are your municipalities, <clears throat> so all of our different towns. And you'll see, again, they all use that same uh, interoperability consortium. Now, if I scroll down, here's something interesting. So I live in Western Broome County. So Western Broome Fire Departments operate on that same P25 trunked system. However, they also rebroadcast talk group uh, two, uh, 27103, which is Western Broome County Fire, on frequency of 154.31 in the clear on FM narrow. So this is not digital. This is just regular old pick up any radio, tune it to 154.31, and you can listen to Battalion 3 Dispatch. All right. Uh, ambulance services, all the different Union Fire, Windsor Fire, all these different things are on that same system. And then uh, Binghamton University is on that same system as well. So they're all on that Project 25 Phase 2 trunked system. That makes things a little tricky because you can't just listen to these Project 25 Phase 2 uh, services without the appropriate hardware. So you're either going to need a like a Motorola radio that does P25 phase two, and you're also going to need the customer programming software and the knowledge to be able to program one of those things. And it is not easy <clears throat> and it's expensive, or you're going to need a dedicated scanner. We'll talk about the scanners in a minute. They're not cheap, but you can buy scanners that will decode all of this stuff for you. So if I want to see, let's say I want to see all of the different police frequencies or police uh, radios, out there. If I click my trunk radio system and click my, my CNY ICC, it tells me <clears throat> that this is regional in New York. It operates in eight counties. It's project 25 phase two. All right. And here are all of our different uh, counties. So Onondaga County, that's like where Syracuse is. Madison County, that's uh, east of Syracuse. Cayuga County is sort of, I think that's like southwest of Syracuse. Oswego County, that's where I went to college. That's north of Syracuse. Oneida is out towards Syracuse as well. But you get down here to Broome, which where I live, which is right on the Pennsylvania border, and you'll see it's broken up into east and west. So my Western Broome simulcast frequencies, these are all the different frequencies they operate on right here. The red frequencies are control, cap control channel capable frequencies. All right, so these are, these are all the different frequencies they use in Western Broome County. I can't get to that table because I don't have the paid subscription. But it shows you where all of the repeater towers are. <clears throat> all right, so these are where all of the different repeaters for all of those different frequencies are. Here's all of our different talk groups. All right, so if you're not familiar with how talk groups work, um, if you've ever used a DMR radio, it's the same idea. And if you haven't, it is not for the beginner and it is not for the faint of heart. <clears throat> you're not just going to go pick up a DMR. DMR stands for digital mobile radio, I believe. It's a, it's a Motorola uh, digital encoding process for voice. Uh, you don't just pick up a DMR radio and go. I have a video on my Anytone uh, 578 that you saw at the beginning of the video that I got from Bridgecom Systems. I have a video where I show just some basic programming on that thing, and you'll see what it's like to program a DMR channel into it. It's not super easy. All right. So this works similarly. It's not DMR. It's not the same process, but it's very similar. Uh, so you can see here's all, all your different talk groups. All right, so you can see we've got uh, all the different New York State talk groups, the federal talk groups, so U.S. probation, ATF, uh, Border Patrol, right, the Oneida Indian Nation, Broome County Law Enforcement. Now, one of the things you're going to see is some of these say TE next to them. So, for instance, um, Broome County Jail Dispatch, Broome County SWAT, Broome County Drug Task Force, New York State Police Spe Special Operations, those all say E next to them. Those are encrypted. So you can't listen to those. You can listen to them, but it's just going to be a garbled mess. Those are encrypted. All right. Everything else is in the clear. They're just encoded in Project 25 Phase 2. Okay. So you, again, you can't listen to them. On, you can't pick up a $15 Baofeng and listen to these. You need to have a dedicated radio that will do this, like I said, or a, a scanner that is capable of it. Here's all your Broome County Fire and EMS talk groups. You can see there's a lot of them. All right. We've got a lot of... The, all the most of the the fire departments around here are volunteer, and there's lots of them. <clears throat> Office of Emergency Management, Broome County Services, County Interoperability, all the local services, highway department, things like that. And then it goes into the municipalities, and it shows all the talk groups for Binghamton, Endicott, Johnson City, Port Dickinson, Vestal, uh, State University of New York, 
Uh, and then it goes into the Cayuga counties and things like that. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, if I go back, all right, if I just want to see, let's say I just want to see Broome County, I can click this guy and it'll show me the Broome County talk groups and their, their, uh, their frequencies. Okay, so you can look at individual things. Like if you want to see, let's say I wanted to see the Broome County airport, I can click the airport. Here's all of my frequencies for the airport. For depart, approach, departure, the automatic terminal information system, clearance, the tower, ground, Unicom, all that stuff is right here. All that stuff is transmitted in the clear. This is all AM. So you'll need an AM radio to listen to these. All right. But this is where you will find all of the frequencies that you might be interested in when you're looking at public safety frequencies for emergency use. But it's not as simple as just turning the radio on and listening. The easiest way to do this, unfortunately, is expensive. So these are, this is uh, bearcatwarehouse.com. Not affiliated with these guys in any way, but they sell uh, unit and bearcat scanners. So you can see these, these scanners right here, these are Project 25 Phase 2 capable, $700, $650, There's an open box one for $599. All right, these things are expensive, <clears throat> but you can buy these with your county programmed in. Okay, so you can come down here and go, okay, I want my county installed. And you enter your county name and the state, and they will program all of that stuff in for you. So when you get your scanner, you turn it on and scan. There's none of this, me having to figure out how to program all of those talk groups into one of these scanners. Because again, it's not for the beginner. You don't just pick up a, a, a DMR radio or a P25 phase two radio plug stuff in and go. It's it's complicated and unless you understand how the systems are set up, it's very hard to do. So, like I said, this is the easiest way to do it. Unfortunately, it is expensive. So, uh, there are other ways to decode Project 25 Phase 2, but none of them are easy. All right, there are cheaper ways, but they're way more complicated. So if you're not real tech savvy and don't really understand how this stuff works, you're probably not gonna be playing with building stuff on Linux and using SDRs to do this stuff. You're probably going to want to buy a scanner and call it a day. But like I said, they're expensive. So I don't want this this uh, video to run super long. We're already, already at 11 minutes and 30 seconds on this section. <clears throat> I just wanted to sort of introduce you to this website so you can find some of these different frequencies. Some of you may live in areas where all this stuff is still broadcasted in analog and you can just use any old radio to tune to the frequency and listen. Until about a year and a half ago, that's how it was here. And then they went to this trunk project 25 phase two system. And again, I can listen to this stuff. I just need the stuff to do it. You can listen to this online uh, on your computer on Broadcastify or the scanner radio app on your phone. Just understand that that requires internet access. So if the internet goes out, you're not going to have access to those scanners. So if you want to have the ability to listen to these in real time, you're either going to need the correct type of radio or the correct type of scanner. So folks, with that being said, I hope that was helpful. Like I said, I had a whole slew of questions in the previous video about how do I find these frequencies? And this is probably the best reference for that. <clears throat> if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, I want people to understand that I, I get a lot of requests about, hey, can you show me how do you set up this radio or this radio? It's hard for me to do individual types of radios unless I own that particular radio or unless a company sends me a radio for review. Um, so... The idea is going to be the same with most radios as it was in the radios you've seen me program on the channel before, but it may not be exactly the same. But if I own the radio, I can show you how to program it. Um, but like I said, it's hard for me to take requests on those if I don't own the radio. So like I said, if there are any other questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I really do appreciate all the feedback. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, as always, 7-3.